Governor Kim Reynolds' push to further limit abortions through her fetal heartbeat bill is part of a larger national Republican push. At least a dozen Republican-led states have proposed bills that ban abortion after about six weeks. Political Director Dave Price joins us now. And Dave, you spoke with a longtime Republican campaign veteran who tells you he's concerned his party's going too far. All right, his name's Mike Murphy. He's worked on five Republican presidential candidates over the years. Back in 1994, he also ran Terry Branstad's gubernatorial campaign win over Fred Grandy. Now, in all, he's worked on several dozen congressional, statewide, and presidential campaigns. He's one of the most recognized campaign advisors in the country. And he says when the U.S. Supreme Court overturned what had been a legal right to an abortion in the Roe versus Wade decision, it completely changed the abortion debate in our country. And he thinks it also led to a Democratic Supreme Court justice election win this month in Wisconsin, and it could hurt Iowa Republican candidates in the future, too. We're in a new era for the first time in a generation. The court is taking away rights people thought they had. We, we have not had a elders from footloose, you can't do that court for a long, long time. And we can see on the political side the impact of the Dodd decision. It has, you know, it, we just lost a big Supreme Court, elected Supreme Court race in Wisconsin. Normally in those court races, when they're elected, it's all about crime. Not this time. It was all about abortion. And the Republican Party got spanked. So, yeah, we, you can find strong pro-life areas of the country where using the biggest possible tools to enact more restrictions are popular. But in the suburbs and the swing states where power is gained or lost, it's a huge loser. Abortion has become a huge issue, particularly of younger voters and suburban voters, and we're on the wrong side of winning. And eventually parties, if they can't learn to win, they go away. And, you know, I can't go down to Whig headquarters now uh, here in Des Moines. So the question is, how much blood do we leave on the floor and how many liberal Democrats do we elect on this stuff? So for Murphy, he thinks that restricting abortions to about six weeks or so is just a matter of going too far for too many people. Tonight, he headlines the 12th annual Culver Lecture at Simpson College. It's a yearly series of lectures in honor of former Iowa Senator John Culver. Okay, interesting. And you know, we've seen that too with a lot of the recent polling showing that the majority of Iowans think abortion should be left alone. Right.